What's up, people? I am here back with another video here showing you guys the letter L on my DVD collection here. I'm going to start off with the first one here, L.A. Slasher. I thought it was pretty decent. It was a pretty good movie. Not too many people talk about it. And if they do, they talk negative shit about it. I thought it was good. I thought it wasn't bad. It was pretty creepy. And the horror factor was pretty good. It, you know, it didn't scare the shit out of me, but it was pretty, pretty good. And I got Steve Martin here in L.A. Story. This is a comedy classic. Good movie. The Labyrinth with, of course, David Bowie. Bought this at Movie Stop. Still has a 3 for 10. Uh, awesome pricing on it. And still has the little sticker that they used to put there. I have here Lake Placid Part 2. The underrated cut. I have uh, Land of the Dead. George A. Romero's. I thought I thought I thought this was pretty good. This is this is a uh, this is the one that brought the smart zombie. Then Lara Croft Tomb Raider with a gorgeous uh, Angelina Jolie. She's her prime time right there. She was really hot there. Lars and the Real Girls. Uh, Ryan Gosling. And I got Laser Blast on DVD. Uh, I know the Blu-ray got released not too long ago from Screen Factory. One of my all-time favorite movies, The Last Boy Scout. I thought Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans did amazing together. Uh, let's get rid of this. Uh, let's talk about it first. Lawrence of Arabia. Uh, of course, a classic. Uh, winner of seven Academy Awards in 1962, including Best Pictures. Has a bunch of cool special features here. And, yep. Got that one. Got uh, Legion of the Dead, another cheesy horror movie here. Legion of the Dead. There you have it. Have another Legion of the Dead. It's not the same movie, but it has the same title. And Satan's Army Walks the Earth. Kind of like a demon, demonish movie. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. So this was all right. It was pretty good. Lean on me. The Leatherheads. George Clooney. Not a fan of George Clooney. I don't like him at all. I think he's overrated. Leave it to Beaver. Three dollars at no, actually one fifty at Big Lots. Had to get it. And. Leaves of Grass with the great Edward Norton. And I'm going to go back up here with the last horror movie. This is one of Fangoria's uh, Gore Zone video. Um, Short lived. I think they only made a couple of those. Then I got. Oh, this was awesome. I remember watching this. Such a good movie. No one, no one talks about this. No one gives this enough credit. This is from Ghost House Underground. Very, very awesome movie. This is the unrated version, and this is The Last House in the Woods. The Last House on the left, this is the remake, unrated version. And this is the original, the MGM release, still has a blockbuster. The Last House on the left, this, I like the original 20 million times better than the remake. I think this was creepy, the bad guys were ugly as hell, they were super creepy. Unlike the new one, where everybody looks good and then i mean it's ridiculous then uh the last stand here with bruce willis um really good movie national lampoon's last resort with Corey feldman and Corey hames another uh movie by the two Corys, the cory Br cory brothers and um i don't remember this much but i haven't opened it so i don't know if i've even seen it or not the last samurai with tom cruise pretty good movie I ain't gonna lie, it was alright. The last showing with Robert England. I try to buy every Robert England movie I got, so I'm not I'm a big fan of his. I'm not gonna tell you it was a great movie, but it was alright. It was watchable. It's entertaining at least. The Last Starfighter. This is a 25th anniversary edition. Got this at Walmart. It has a bunch of uh special features there. And yeah. 
this is a Criterion release. This is the Last Temptation of Christ with a great um, William Dafoe with a bunch of special features here. 1988, directed by Martin Scorsese. And uh, yeah, man, this is a, a I got this for for a pretty good price because it was pretty expensive when when I saw it online. The Last Winter. This is the uh, blockbuster exclusive, guys. Can only get it at Blockbuster Video. And that's what I did. The Lawnmower Man. Part 1. This is the old school uh, snap case. That uh, Warner Brothers used to have. And New Line Cinema also. And I have the sequel here. Uh, Joby's War. Or Job's War. Not sure. I haven't seen the sequel. But this is part 2 of Lawnmower Man. Let's put this back here. <clears throat> then the Levenger tapes. Um, not too. I I did see this, but I really don't remember shit. I don't remember anything from that. This is uh letters from Iwo Jima from Clint Eastwood, and I actually this movie came out years ago, like maybe ten or fifteen years ago. And I remember telling everyone, oh, this is Clint, e Clint Eastwood's last uh, last movie. Bullshit, bro. This guy's still making movies. He's like 105 years old and he's still making movies. His newest one was um, the, the Mule. And I saw it in the movie theaters and I thought it was really good. But um, this one I haven't seen. And it's uh, Academy, no Academy Award nominated for four pictures, including Best Pictures. And uh, it's Golden Globe winner, best uh, picture for a uh, foreign language, and yeah, man. So yeah, it's supposed to be good, but uh, of course I got it at Walmart for sale since it has that little promo sticker on it. <clears throat> this is a good title. That scared Jessica to death. I don't know if you've seen this, but this this was a pretty cool movie. Just sucks it was PG thirteen, but yeah, it was pretty good. Then I got here Nicholas Cage with Elizabeth Shue leaving Las Vegas. The Ledge, of course, with uh, Charlie Hunnam. Hunnam from, from Legacy of Blood here. Uh, pretty uh, cool horror. Very, very old and very and not good uh, resolution there. The Legend of Bagger Vance with Matt Damon and Will Smith. Uh, the Legend of Zorro with the beautiful Catherine Zeta-Jones and Antonio Banderas. John Cena, legendary, with Danny Glover. Legends of the Fall, very memorable. One of uh, Brad Pitt's best movies, I think. Leon the Professional with Gary Oldman and a very, very young Natalie Portman. Great movie, fantastic. One of my favorite movies of all time, for sure. Leon the Professional. Then I got the Leprechaun here with Jennifer Aniston and Warwick Davis, aka Willow. There he is. And then I got the four pack that has part one, two, three, and four. The fourth one, the Leprechauns in Space. Let Me In. Uh, it's a it's a remake of Let the Right One In, and this is the English American uh, version. The let the right one in, of course, the Swedish version, I believe. Let sleep, let sleeping, sleeping corpse lie. This is a really cool, really cool uh, horror zombie movie from the seventies. Awesome as shit, man. Really cool, and of course, it's a uh, anchor B, anchor B, right there. Let the bullets fly. A cool action uh, movie with, of course, Chow Young Fat. And then here's the original, Let the Right One In, the Swedish version, the Magnet. I like I like this one a lot better. This is the original version. The, the remake in English was good, but not nearly as good as the original. The original is creepy as fuck. Then I got one of my favorites from the 80s. We got Lethal Weapon. Lethal Weapon 2. Lethal Weapon 3, and they're all in Snapcase, the original Snapcase from Warner Brothers, Joe Pesci, and Lethal Weapon 4. I think the chemistry between Mel Gibson and Danny Glover was flawless, 
great duel. Awesome, awesome, awesome series. Part one, two, three, and four, they were all great. Then I got here, uh, let's do it again. This is a comedy from the 70s. Um, yeah, haven't haven't seen it, but it looks like it's funny. Could be funny. Let's go down here. Tough area to get on. Live feed. Horror, cheesiness, cheesiness. Oh, okay, they're getting they're getting hard to get in here. Uh, what is this? Liberal Arts, three for ten. I've never seen this. It has the beautiful Elizabeth Olsen. So, I had to pick it up. License to Drive, one of my all-time favorites. Awesome '80s movie, man. This 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 really defines the '80s. Well, it says 1990, so all expired 1990. So this movie came out in 1988, and of course, Anchor Bay. California in the 80s was awesome. That's all I gotta say. This is The Lie with, of course, Mark Webber and Joshua Leonard. Life as we know it. Life changes when you have a kid. I know it. I'm telling you guys. A Life Less Ordinary. Cameron Diaz and Ewan McGregor. This movie was really good. Very underrated. Awesome movie. Cool, cool, cool. Cool fucking movie. The Life of David Gale. Kevin Spacey and Kate Winslet. Life or something like that. Angelina Jolie and Ed Burns. This is from the, like, the mid-90s or some shit. But yeah, it was a pretty cool... Um, romantic comedy here. These romantic comedies from the early 90s were pretty cool, man. They, they weren't that bad. Life Partners. Um, picked this up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Stanley's Light Speed. Haven't heard much about this. I got it because it was, like, you know, Stanley stuff, but I, I haven't even opened it. Like, I haven't seen it. Like Father Like Son with Kirk Cameron. Uh, cool 80s stuff. Limitless. Good movie. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's pretty good. Pretty good movie. The Linda Vista Project. I highly recommend this if you're into all these uh, weird, creepy, horror, um, ghost type of movies. Here we go. One of my favorite movies ever. Jean-Claude Van Damme is Lionheart. Awesome fucking movie. This is the original DVD. I did have the original VHS. It's somewhere in the back room. And I'm telling you, man. This this movie, I must have seen like a million times. Such a good movie. Lionheart. And MVD put it out. A great edition on Blu-ray, which I need to buy. I haven't gotten it yet because it's like 30 bucks. It's a lot of money, man. Then uh, Lions for Lambs. Never seen it. Liquid Bridge surfing movie, I guess. Never seen it. Little Big League. This is a classic. I saw this shit a bunch of times when I was a kid. Really, really liked it. Really enjoyed it. Little Miss Sunshine. Very, very awesome movie. If you haven't seen this, please do yourself a favor and check this out. Awesome fucking movie. Little Miss Sunshine. Little Shop of Horrors. This is a classic with Jack Nicholson. And um, this is a colored version. Because I know this movie, the original release was in black and white. But this is colored. Then I got Little Vampires. I don't know if, ever, if you guys have seen it or not, but it's pretty good. Live Free or Die. <clears throat> from the writers, from t two of the writers of Seinfeld. So Live, or f live Free or Die. And we have here... We have here Loaded Weapon Part 1. I don't think they ever did a Part 2, so I don't even know why they called it Loaded Weapon Part 1. So, yeah, an, a younger, much younger Samuel Jackson. And, of course, Emilio Estevez here. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I got to see that one again. I haven't seen it in a long time. Loch Ness Terror. Of course, the Loch Ness Monster. The Locker. Creepy. 
creepy movie double feature presentation here has a mo the most terrifying japanese legend comes alive and there she is um looks pretty intense what about this one lost after dark i don't know if you guys have ever seen this but i did and i i thought it was good it's a good throwback to the 80s and um yeah i i i digged it i digged it i thought it was good and of course it has um uh it has a lot of uh released by anchor bay and it has a a lot of uh slashing 80s moments there logger 13 london with uh chris evans and um jessica beals in it too the Long Kiss Goodnight, another Samuel L. Jackson movie. Gina Davis, really good. I saw that in movie theaters. The Longest Yard, and this one was really good. I thought it was a pretty good remake to a Burt Reynolds original. Of course, um, Burt Reynolds also in this. And so is uh, Nelly, The Great Khali, Goldberg, Chuck Liddell. A bunch of wrestlers, a bunch of UFC fighters. Chris Rock, X, X, um ex-football players Mike, michael Irvin is also in this so a handful of cool celebrities in this movie look who's talking looking for eric the lookout looper this is one of uh bruce willis's most uh better films from from more you know more recently uh that I can remember because this Bruce Willis man he's done so many movies that have gone straight to DVD and Blu-ray that are not that good they're okay but they're not that good but Looper was, was was a good one Clyde Barker's Lords of Illusions now I know uh, Scream Factory has put out a, a Blu-ray of this which was good and I got the Lord of the Rings uh, box set here that has all three of them the original ones has um, the Fellowship of the Ring the Two Towers and the Return of the King I think the return of the king was the best part. I thought it was really, really good. And yeah, so that's the trilogy and the box set. I guess this movie is really good. I really like this one. Lord of War with Jerry Leto and, and Ethan Hawke and of course Nicolas Cage. Fantastic movie, really good movie. If you haven't seen this, do yourself a favor and, and catch it, watch it somewhere. Lords of Dogtown, awesome skateboarding movie. Los Ojos de Julia. Uh, I have seen Midnight Release. Guillermo del Toro presents, but he did not direct it. He just uh, produced it. And um, yeah, man. Really, really scary shit. It's in Spanish, though. So. But there is the subtitles. Then I got here uh, Losers. Not a big fan of that movie. Lost and Found with Kevin Spade. Um, funny. It was alright. One of my all-time favorite movies. The Lost Boys on the original Snapcase. Such a great movie. So memorable. I, I, can't, I can't recommend this enough. Great cast and a great storyline. Then they made part two, which was called The Tribe. Which a lot of people bashed it. But I thought I digged it. I thought it was cool. It was a good, it was a really good throwback, and part three was good as well. With of course Corey Feldman, he was in all three parts. This is the Fro the Frog Brothers are back for blood. So this is part three called the Thirst, and there you have it, Corey Feldman. Cool stuff. Lost in Translation with Bill Murray. The Lost Room. Lost Souls with, the, with Noah Ryder. This was a really good one. Love and Basketball. If you haven't seen this, do yourself a favor and watch it. Love and Other Drugs. Anna Hathaway and Jake Gyllenhaal. The Love Guru with, of course, the beautiful Jessica Alba. She's super hot. Love Object. Another horror, crappy movie. Love Ranch. It was okay. Love Stinks. 
Love, Wedding, Marriage. Mandy Moore. Lucas. You never seen Lucas? It's a good one. Charlie Sheen's in it as well. Winoa Ryder's also in it. Lucky. The Lucky One. And Lime Life. Is that the last one? Is it? Is it? Yeah. So, guys, this is it for the L's. I had a bunch of L's. I thought I had less, but definitely a lot of L's on my shelf. And I will be back with the Blu-rays that begin with the letter L pretty soon. Until next time, I will see you guys. Have a good weekend. Goodbye.